What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back. It's me, Tusk, and we're back playing Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. In episode one, we finally made our way into the school where bad things totally didn't happen. I totally didn't get knocked out. All right, so this is after I ended up getting knocked out. <laughs> this must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain, which means it must be mine, right? I better hang on to it for now. Let's hang on to that. Yes, yeah, so I'm playing this game at like 9 p.m. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Okay, our bathroom is locked. How are they going to give us a bathroom and not have the door work? There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says, Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed completely. Protect against the tempering of lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome. So please, make sure not to lose yours. All right, Monokuma, your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Also, the bathroom in the girls' room include a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for you. For the girls, a sewing kit, and for the boys, a toolkit. A sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. I'm guessing that helps because the girls, they are weaker. Um, for the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any tool should be ample. Oh my God. I forgot this whole school is about people murdering each other. Don't think, just feel. And let's all enjoy ourselves. Oh, I forgot to do the Monokuma voice. I'll remember to do that the next time he shows up. I crumpled up a sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. I mean, it would have been useful. Yep, metal plate mounted. It's still boarded up. So you know what? We can probably just leave. Looks like the door leads outside. It's locked. So some kind of room uh, or some of the rooms have locks. My bad. I end up reading too fast and I end up stuttering. So how do I use my like own keys? Presents. Would that be in the keys? No, there's 114 presents. Oh, we're going to be playing this game for a while. It looks like there's something in the drawer. Oh, it's the toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in shrink wrap. I don't need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. All right. I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and be punished accordingly. All right. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. I mean, no shit, dude. This 100% this is the dorm room. Why would you not be here? So that answers the question. The next thing is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. You're supposed to be asleep, man. What are you talking about? You need to get out of here. Leave the area. Does my bathroom work now? Okay, the bathroom is still broken. Okay, yeah, let's go. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting here. It was like something out of an old TV show. Wham! Oh. Hey, the music switch up. The tone. Sayaka? Oh, we got voice Sorry. acting? Are you okay? I mean, she doesn't look okay. How did you run into her head? I'm fine. Oh, like they bumped heads. Okay. There's nothing to look at, though. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built up some pretty good muscle. Jumping up and down on stage. All right. That's good, then. Um... But are you okay? You know, when Mondo hits you. That's true, I got knocked out right in front of everyone. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right in front of the beginning. Why is she saying my name like that? Chill. Oh, well, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. That's good. That's good. I kind of was worried. Thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Um. I actually came to get you? Why? Well, if you're really feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall. You see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go on and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. 
Oh, I thought it was nighttime because I, I was confused. That threw me off. I thought she was just casually just chilling out here at night. Like, oh, yeah, I came to come get you so we can just get body by Monokuma together. So we agreed to, to get together later on and talk about what we'd each uh, find out. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course, I'll go with you. That's good. Good, I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. I guess that's not really the important thing right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. N nobody was waiting for us. We don't really have much of a choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously. I just have an amazing intuition. Is it really intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes a tutorial. Right now, I'd like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. Why? Reaction? No, I'm not. I, I just clicked it. Well, just in that case, let me explain. When purple words show up, if you press the Y button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use directional buttons to make a selection and an A button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to the dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best. Uh, enjoy your ever important school life. All right. Let's talk to her again. By the way, Makoto, what is it? Um, well, it's just, I know this is kind of continuing self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. What's up? What do you want to ask me? Makoto, did you happen to go to Blackroot Junior High? Were you maybe in class two? Yeah, actually I was. Ah. I knew it. I went there too. I was in class four. So, oh, do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was, that she remembered me. We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um... Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all. I wouldn't have thought you remembered me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. Well, that's true, but there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've been uh, I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. Same, Makoto, same. I'm just chilling. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even a normal would call me boring. Aww. What are you talking about? You're so strange. Strange? That's... <laughs> <laughs> she started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Her smile was the nicest smile I have ever That's seen. Good. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. <sighs> Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all of this. You're amazing, Makoto. No, no, I'm really not. I'm nothing compared to all of you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thanks for saying that. Okay. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. What is an ultimate assistant? Huh? My assistant? <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can. So let's get out here together. When she says things like that, it, it gets me pumped up. Which is nice, but still, everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. Yeah, how... How are they going to call a meeting and no one shows up? Like, we're the first two here. You'd expect at least another person to be here. There must be a clock around here somewhere. Right here. What time is it? Seven o'clock at night? Uh, um. I We missed the meeting. Why did you call me out here? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy. Hey, um... I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Kaka threw open that dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Oh! Hey! 
Ah, Makoto Sayaka. So you two got here first, huh? Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet. Well, I won't give up. Next time, I swear, I'll win no matter what it takes. Justice shall always prevail. That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay. Hey. Looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. I kind of like the aura this whole table's giving, except for <laughs> dude at the end. He needs to go. He's not with us. Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. Okay. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Facts? Hold on a sec. What? What are you talking about? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. <gasps> oh, yeah, Kyoko. Hmm. What about her? Hmm. She's not here. <gasps> what? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure. Enough. She was nowhere to be seen. Don't clown on me about that pause. Um. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, Did someone kill her? Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing... I can't be saying this at night, bro. It's like 9 p.m. Crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it, it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. All right, Monokuma. Is it possible? Was she really? Oh, no, I'm overthinking it. Darn it, Kyoko. You're really going to be late like this on the first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? <laughs> This is literally like, I don't, I don't even remember. It's that one class president from Persona 3 Reload. It's literally him. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peaks Academity, Aca Academity, y'all, Academity. Briefing meetings has begun. Um. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone has to say. All right, let's do that. <laughs> you know. What's up? I feel like I have really become your personal assistant, don't you agree? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you've already done so much as my... No, she hasn't. Don't gas her up. What did she do? She just called me in here. All right, so we're going to have to be talking to every single one of these people here. All right. <laughs> Let's speak to him. Uh, I'm not able to click on him. There's only like a couple people I can really speak to. Because I can't speak to him. Unless I move the room around. Alright, maybe I'm supposed to speak to this guy first. I don't think I should leave right now. The atmosphere is unpleasant. Oh, no, I'm trying to talk to people. Oh, I need to look around. The surveillance cameras. I hate the idea. Okay, it's just more surveillance cameras. Oh, we got another one of those, like, coins. Okay, what is that up there? Another TV? It's a TV. Right now, it's just showing the school crest. Even so, it makes me feel uneasy. Ugh. We looked at the time. What if we double check? Let's do a double take on the time. I looked at the clock and I sighed. That's it. Maybe we got to speak to her again. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay down what's going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building, but Byakuya and Taka each went off on their own and so did Kyoko. It looks like Leon. Oh, wait, I need to go back. I can't go back. The same goes for Hina Sakuramondo. 
We're left. Okay, okay. So I gotta. I gotta do like the reaction. You see. How did I skip it again? Um. You see. Byakuya and Taka. The store reaction on Byakuya. I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for the imprisoning. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all for me. Really? That's it? If I'd uncover anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Uh, right, understood. <laughs> Yo, all right. You see. Did we speak to Taka? I don't think we spoke to, about Taka. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There I was! I made the discovery of the century. I found that there was exactly one room for each person. Amazing discovery. Uh, well, yeah, I figured that out before everything else. Yeah. Each door already has a nameplate on it. So I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. Huh. And each room... Oh my, I forgot how buff she is. And each room key was attached to the keychain with the owner's name precision etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was er in earlier was in fact my oh, room. Was. And Chihiro and I found that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Um, Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. <laughs> well, each room also had a private bathroom, which could also lock. Mm. But it also looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. Huh? That's weird. I should probably double check hey, that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Quiet down and listen. Well, better to have. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I need to. I need to have a little bit of like a, a liter, 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 <laughs> literary break. All right. How are you doing today? Let me know down in the comment section below. You know, my day has been going pretty smooth, and you know, what? I hope your day's going well too. You get a thumbs up from me. Keep doing you. Well, better to have than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That's... That can't be all of you... I cannot speak. That can't be all you have to report. Can it... Mr. Honor Student? Her stuttering threw me off. Got it. That's all for my report. Let's move on to whomever's next. Um, that was literally it? Bro, these reports are gonna take forever. You see... Okay. Oh, we can look at all these people in a group. Nice. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows and all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get any of those metal plates to come off. And what happened was nothing, not a damn thing. We couldn't get a single one to budge, even a little bit. What should I do? There wasn't any hope to escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This is bad. This sucks. It bad, bad, really bad, bad. sucks, 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 sucks. What the hell is going on here? Hey, come on. That's not what she said, but I'm an improv. God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. All right. Um. You see. Okay, we've spoken to them. They didn't have anything to provide. What about Hina Sakura and Aoi? We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. Sorry. But we didn't find anything. Sorry. Yo. I went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. What? But even with Sakura what? and me both, it wouldn't budge. We hit it with the desk and chairs and nothing. <sighs> it was hard as like metal. I mean, it literally is metal. Yes, indeed. Well, exactly. Oh, Anyways, sucks. if we're going to get out of here, it's not going to be through here. But like... I could just cry, but no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. So, <laughs> what? <laughs> I shall tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and the dorm areas, there were a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were, were gates there and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. 
In other words, at that point, we were only able to search the first floor. However, we can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least chance that will lead us to a way out. All right. Um, All right, see. so we got them, we got them, and then we got them. Celeste, Toko, and Hifumi. If I'm being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we are not exactly the types to go running around the school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell is wrong with you? What the hell is... Oh, I, I thought she was saying what she was writing. <laughs> what the hell were you thinking? Just sitting around the gym the whole time? <laughs> well, it's not like any of you invited me to come along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. What the... If you want to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> Forget <laughs> it. Like, I'd want to go anywhere with a dirty... Yo! Yo, Toko! <laughs> nah, that's uncalled for. Oh! I gotta walk out. That's my time to leave. It's about to turn up in here. <laughs> your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. I don't even know how to react. How can you even say something just as awful to someone you just met? Hey, come on. All right, there, guys. Everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is bad for your skin, you know? Uh -huh. Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now. You're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's going on. I don't hey, think that's um... what's going on, Sayaka. All right, so that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. What do you got to say? Um... I went and had a look around the dining hall, and I found a fridge in the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds that's of stuff. Good. I guess we don't have to worry about food, at least. Uh, sure, for now, but even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? <laughs> you can just eat sesame seeds or something. Mm -hmm. Huh? What, am I a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. Um, at least, that's what Monokuma said. Huh? You saw him? Okay. Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that, then disappeared again. It was so fast. I can't believe anyone could have been uh could have been moving him around with a remote control. What? A weaponized toy that can just appear from nowhere. I can tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. Oh, well, is everything okay? He didn't try to like eat you or anything. Huh? Eat eat her? Oh, what do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Oh my god. Put a, get him in the food section. Oh. Lead him to the fridge. Come on, man. You bastard. What the hell, fatty? You're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop scoring around all of you. You still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. We could all just die any second. <laughs> Shit. She's right. We can't even be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or... A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Oh, I, oh, it's Kyoko. I thought it was Monokuma. What is Kyoko doing? Where has she been? And why did the music shut off? Why did it get all quiet, bro? Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? First of all, where were you? All right, you can't just pull in and just thinking you can just control the mass. Yo! Kyoko, what the heck? Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? Whoa, where did you get this? Well, it doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter. You're really freaking us out right now. Important. Never mind that. What's it mean? It would seem... Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy. Well, in terms of construction, yes. But it looks like it's hard, uh, it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? However, I don't know the details yet. All I found was some details about the first floor. Um, but then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to a, like some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible. This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn. But... 
But if this is really Hope's Peak, where all this other students are, where are all the other students? Hey, come on, guys. Let's just stop talking about all this, you know? Negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things aren't looking good. Yo. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? The people in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I get stressed every time something like this happen, I'd have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. You know? Good things come to those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work out in- Wait, wait, this music. I don't know, it caught my attention. It sounds like, like some Terraria type music. Everything will work itself out. <laughs> Alright, Celeste. Celeste looks like a villain off the bat. What's your problem? Oh nah. <laughs> I'm just happy. That is all. It seems splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Looking around was a total waste of time. We didn't find a way out. We didn't find who's behind this. We still have no idea what's going on. Oh. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what's going on? Are you okay with this? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept the reality, but it was staring at us right in the face. Mm -hmm. you, you didn't have to go and say that. I was just trying not to think about it. No, no way, we're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Stop it. Don't even joke about that. Um, Everyone, just calm down, please. No need to stop and think about. Oh, wait, we need to stop and think about what's going on here. Not no need. Seems like... There's got to be something we can do. <laughs> All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. That's... Dude. The aura she's given off is menacing. Live here, are you saying we should just accept it? I mean, what about these trees out here? Do you understand? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. Actually, As someone who has come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. What? What do you mean? Hmm. We all understand that we are trapped here, which means... We will all be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and pun. Wait, so you can stay out, but you just don't need to sleep. Let's see. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? <laughs> going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but, but why? Are you okay with this? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. <laughs> and we will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about the night after night, who knows how long it will wear us down in no time. I see. So you're suggesting we limit our activity at night as a kind of preventative measure. Indeed. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We'll all have to agree to follow it. What can we do? I see, so... Um, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Alita said. Bro, I, I do not like this nickname you're giving her. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. Listen to me! On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. What? Hey, hey, you just can't decide to speak for us. This oh, he fine. really did agree. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> so everyone is in agreement, right? <laughs> and if you will excuse me. Huh? huh? What, where are you going? Let's see. It's almost nighttime. I wanna take a shower before it arrives. I hope you are so well. goodbye. Moving with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Her behavior seems so natural. I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. She really just walked out. Um, so, so I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. I love doing his voice. Adaptability. So, Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Ah, uh, well then, what, what say we call an end to today's meeting? You understand? Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyways. We can reconvene first uh, first thing tomorrow morning huh 
Do we really have what it... Bro, I gotta be like the worst popcorn reader ever. If someone called on me, the class is never finishing their book. Um... Do we really have to stay the night here? What can we do? We don't have a choice. We can't go long without getting some sleep. Oh, this so, we have to just give up. <sighs> That's all fine and good for today. What do we do tomorrow? So in the end... Our only option is to split up and look around again. And let everyone know if we find anything. Mm. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Aww. Then we're done for today. Good. I'm exhausted. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Um. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? Yeah, let's go. All right, back to my room. Is this really where I'll be staying in the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right. I should check the bathroom one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? All right, let's open it up. Rattle, rattle. It's no use. It's already locked. Monokuma. Rock. Not locked. Where did he come from? Holy crap. <laughs> Jeez, talk about an overreaction. It's like you just saw a ghost or something. Like some kind of robot bear ghost. What are you doing here? Makoto Naegi. This super duper majorly bad. So bad it's almost magical. Ultra magical awful awful attack. Uh huh. In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame. Wait, so the reason it won't open is because it's locked? It isn't locked. The door just doesn't fit. Hey, um. Didn't didn't you see the notice? What can't you read? The bathroom in the boys' rooms don't have locks. I mean, a lock of the boys' bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? Well, it's not that pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the birds and the bees and all that. Anyways, there's a little trick to opening this particularly ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you. Why is Monokuma in my room teaching me how to open a bathroom door? And why is this bathroom door messed up? Don't y'all have money? Monokuma, I know you're a millionaire. Fix it. Okay, ready? So you just gotta turn the doorknob, then lift up while you pull. Yes, indeed. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up when I pull. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. <laughs> See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all. Bye-bye. Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye. <laughs> Dude, I love voicing Monokuma. <laughs> hey, wait. Damn it. Ding dong, bing bong. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay. As such, it is officially nighttime. Officially? Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. I wonder if the real people that are running this show go into the dining hall at night to eat. Okay, then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay, all right. The safest place for me to sleep in this entire room would be the bathroom because nobody would know how to open it, if you think about it. Looks like it's nighttime. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try to get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed into the bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was uh, I was ready for bed exactly. I was just utterly exhausted. It was as if I'd spent the entire day staring at a TV and watching movies or like some kind of illusion where I'd been tossed into a made up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up, I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that, actually. That'd be the best. It's not. We got like 12 more hours. What? 
In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so pull of, pull of fright and joy. <laughs> pull of fright and joy. Our ceremony earlier today wasn't absolutely splendid. Wasn't I am messing up my words? Thank you all so much. Remember that you're all students of Hope's Peak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. To you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow. A new tomorrow. All right, Monokuma. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Yes, sir. Get ready to greet another beautiful, beautiful day. day. All right. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. Apparently, it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to say for sure. Anyways, what should I do now? What? Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. She did say she's my assistant now. Okay, it's decided. I'm going to go to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Oh, this music. I love this game. I love this game's music. Oh my god. Hey. Good morning, Makoto. Good morning? <laughs> yes. Morning greetings are quite a delight. Such an energizing way to start the day. You understand? Now then, let's make sure we both do our very best throughout the day. Sure. I wonder if he's always like this. Sayaka. Alright, Sayaka. There's a doorbell next to the door. I guess I should use that. Oh yeah, I can't just like barge into our room. Oh, hello. Good morning, Sayaka. Hi, Makoto. Oh, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? Um, listen. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I was just getting ready to head out. Is it okay if you would like to come with me? Maybe we could talk. Yeah, sure. Where are you headed? Um. I've been thinking about there might be something around here I could use for self-defense. Self-defense? Well, I mean, whoever's keeping us here could show up and attack us any time. You never know. I mean, they could have just shot us already. She's tripping. Whoever trapped us here. Whoever presented us with the rules of murdering each other. Oh, that's me talking. Whoever put us in this insane position. She's right. We never know when they might attack. Um, but the thing is, if you swing on Monokuma, won't something bad happen? Won't he explode? So I just want to be able to protect myself no matter what happens. A weapon to protect herself. Well, now that I think about it, that display case in the gym entryway had a bunch of stuff, maybe. <laughs> oh, the gym? Okay, let's go. Again? Like I said, I'm psychic. <laughs> I'm getting weirdo energy from her. I don't know if it's just me. But she's throwing me off. I don't I don't like that psychic thing she she does. I know good and well she's not psychic. She plotted. I just have amazing intuition. Am I really so easy to predict? Anyways, we should head to the gym. I mean, it was a dumb question though. Everyone knows all the stuff that you could use as weapons is in the gym. So maybe I'm just tripping. Okay. Oh, we can teleport. Oh, this is so useful. You can see who's in the dining hall, too, in all the rooms. What is that room? The laundry? He's doing laundry? Wait, later I'll have access to the second floor. Oh, wait, no, that's just the different areas. I mean, what do you want to choose? You want to choose some of these trophies, these statues, or this... Katana. Hey, um. Here we go. I might be able to find something in here to protect myself hmm. with. Yeah, I'm sure I'll find something in the display case I can use. All right, display case, like up here. There's all kinds of stuff on the shelves above. Actually, you want to use this? That'll be good. Buddha. Use Buddha as the enemy. Why is something like that on display? Why is Buddha on display? A plaque. I guess it's to commemorate some kind of championship. All right, let's just say this. It's, is this a sword? Oh no, I think it's just a replica. Still, it's pretty impressive. It's completely covered in gold coating, but. 
Jeez, I barely touched it and I got that gold stuff all over my hands. Uh, um. Oh, wow, you're right. Your hands are totally gold. Even just for self-defense, I think it's a little... Well, it's still better than nothing, I guess. Hey, um. You should take it with you. It might help uh, liven up your room a bit. Didn't you want a weapon for self-defense? I don't want it. <laughs> but I guess you better be careful about taking it back. You should wrap it in newspaper or something. And just like that, it's been decided. I don't see anything I could really use for self-defense. Hey, don't worry about it. It's not like you need it right away anyways. Plus, if anything were to happen, when the time comes, I'll protect you. Huh? Yeah, you'll protect me? <laughs> Thank you for saying that. If I've got you on my side, I guess I don't need a weapon after all. Saika giggled as she said that. The mysterious smile. I can tell if it comes from the heart. It makes me feel at ease. When I look at her, I honestly feel like I can do anything. <laughs> okay, we can stop looking for the weapon then. But as long as we're here, let's hang out a bit more. They were cooking with this OST. Um, hmm. I know I said I wanted to talk to you, but now that we're here, I don't really know what to talk about. Sorry. And I was the one who invited you to come with me too. Sorry. It's fine. I mean, if there's nothing to talk about, then we can just not talk, right? Huh? You don't have to force yourself to talk. We can just, I don't know, stare off to space or whatever. Hmm. Stare off into space? Oh, but you're probably, like, super bored just standing around doing nothing. Uh, um, no, it's not that boring. It's just... I... I've never really done it before. I don't have a lot of time to just do nothing. I guess that makes sense. You're not a normal high school student like me. You've got tons of stuff to do every day. Um, listen. This is kind of out of nowhere, but... Makoto, do you have a dream? <laughs> well, what about you, Sayaka? What's your dream? I'd love to hear. Uh, my dream is, I've always wanted to be a star, for as long as I can remember. I grew up without a mother, you know, and my dad worked really late every night. I was always home alone. I was just a kid, you know, so I was really lonely. But that's that all changed when I saw a pop up uh, pop star on TV for the first time. She was so pretty like a princess, and she could sing and dance. But more than anything, there was her smile. Looking at her smile, I could feel my loneliness melting away. I decided that's what I wanted to be someday. I wanted to be, uh, to give a kind and encouragement to others. Be kind and give encouragement to others. Eventually, that became my dream. That's so amazing, though. You were able to actually fulfill your lifelong dream. Honestly, it's incredible. I... I did whatever it took to reach that dream. I meant it. Even some things that weren't so pleasant. Huh? You see... I honestly believe that as long as you kept chasing your dreams, someday they had come true. But to do that, you can't take your eyes off your dream. Not even for a second. Even if sometimes it's a bad dream. Whether you're awake, whether you're asleep, to make your dream a reality, you have to keep your gaze fixed on it no matter what. In that world, if you lose focus for even a split second, you get left behind. You have to keep swimming against the current without even taking the time to breathe. That's the kind of world my dream lives in. Is it really that tough? Is it not fun at all? Oh no. Oh no, don't get the wrong idea. It's super fun. But, but that's exactly what scares me. Huh? Uh, um. I enjoy every single day. I wake up and get to do what I do. Everyone in our group is amazing. We're rivals in a way, but they all mean so much to me. We've been performing together since we were young, so they're all like family to me. Without them, I would have given up on my dream a long time ago. To work together and fulfill our dreams together has brought me so much happiness. But that's why. But that's the thing that scares me the most. If the world gets tired of us, then what happens? What happens to us? Then that dream dies, those wonderful days come to an end, and everyone goes their separate ways. Damn, this is getting deep. She's trembling. She must be terrified. She worked so hard, sacrificed so much to get where she is, she must be terrified of you losing see. it. So that's the reason I decided to come to Hope's Peak. Wait, what? Uh, um. Well, they say that if you graduate from here, success is basically guaranteed. Which means I could keep performing with my best friends forever and ever. That seems too good to be true, though. At least that's what I thought. I really did believe that, but now we're trapped here with no way out. They're probably waiting for me. While I'm in here, the world out there is forgetting about me. Minute by minute, we're all disappearing, but still. Sayaka? 
I can't afford to be stuck here. Okay, she's tripping. That was the first time I heard her cry out from deep within herself. She sounds desperate, but I can understand why she felt that way. Trapped here this way, the dream she put so much effort into on this verge of disappearing forever, and that isn't something that can be fixed with a few kind words. The way she's caring, I can't even imagine sorry. it. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to complain. Uh, um, I kind of killed the mood, huh? No, not at all. Sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Sayaka, actually, are you hungry? Before we head back, why don't we go to the dining hall and get some food? So... Okay. You want me to make us something to eat? Why did she switch up like that, though? Why did she switch up like that? That's weird. I might not look like it, but I'm actually a pretty good cook. Wow, really? What's your specialty? Chili oil. You mean the condiment? <laughs> she burst out laughing. Her earlier mood disappeared, replaced uh, by the bright smile I'd quickly grown used to. But how'd it happen so fast? It was almost like a mask, like some kind of neutral expression. Anyway, we headed to the dining hall to get something to eat before returning to our rooms. Wait, this day went by freaking fast. What? Why did this day go by so fast? The only thing in this room is a fake sword covered in gold. All it does is make me feel much more uncomfortable. Yeah, honestly, we shouldn't have even taken that. Anyways, there's still plenty of time left in the day. I really don't feel like sitting here. Maybe I'll just take a look around. You're about to have your first experience with free time. Would you like to hear more? Sure. As you live out your school life here, you'll be given free time at certain points. During your free time, you can uh, spend time with your fellow classmates to deepen your friendships. You can also give them presents, which potentially give them an even better impression of you. You can get these presents from Mono Mono Machine in the school store. Come by early and often. At certain points, you'll witness intimate events, and new info will be added to each person's report card. These events can also open up new skills, which can be proved well, which can prove useful as everything plays out. All right, we got to make some friends. Also, keep in mind that when you talk with a classmate, time will pass. When you're finished, you will automatically return to your room. After a certain amount of time passes, your free time will come to an end and the story will progress. If you prefer not to engage in free time, you can always choose to simply go to sleep and skip it. We wouldn't recommend this approach, but if you absolutely must press forward with the story, then anyways, don't you try it. Oh, they really want us to spend some free time with Sayaka. She's the ideal partner to begin with, don't you think? All right. Asleep. Ring her doorbell. Ding dong. Um, listen. You know, Makoto, I'm so anxious. I really am afraid. Spend some time with Sayaka. Um, Are you gonna try to cheer me sorry. up? Sorry for making you take time out of your day like this. I did my best to comfort Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. I don't have a present for her. What do you like to give her? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'm sure. Do you think you could make time for the two of us to talk? What's wrong? Why are you being so formal? Well, it's just, I guess that was kind of formal, but it's just because I know I can count on you, huh? <laughs> Having you by my side really makes me feel a lot better. Um, if you weren't here with me, I just don't know what I'd do. I'd be lost. But that's why. I hate that we had to meet again under such awful conditions, but I'm relieved you're with me. Sayaka, standing here face to face hearing her say that. It's nice, but kind of embarrassing at the same time. I know how you feel. You being here is what saved me. <sighs> really? Thank you for the flattery. A smile. A mysterious smile that softens my heart. I really wasn't flattering her. That smile saved me. <sighs> but it's kind of strange, you know? I never thought I'd get the chance to really talk to you like this. All through middle school, you never talked to me. In fact, you never even looked at me. It's because you were like a celebrity. I couldn't just go around staring at you. Yeah, that'd be weird, bro. Like... Imagine she's just trying to do her work. You're just sitting there like How are you doing? Good weather out, huh? <laughs> 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 
Wait, how do you know I never looked at you? Hey, um... Because I looked at you all the time. What? I... I was always looking for an opportunity to talk to you. You wanted to talk to me. But since I always had so many people around me, we ended up graduating without saying a word. That was one of my biggest regrets. But why me? Um, Do you remember during our first year of junior high, that huge bird wandered into our school pond? Actually, now that I think about it, I do sort of remember something like that. It was like out of a fairy tale, the turtle once every a million years, that bird once every a thousand. A huge bird wandered into our school pond during our first year of junior high. I think it might have been... A heron? A heron? I'm gonna just say heron. It was a heron, wasn't it? No, not quite. It was someone but even bigger. A huge bird. Okay, so it was a crane. Okay. That's right. That's what it was. It was so big, the teacher had no idea what to do. But you led it into the forest behind the school. You helped it find its way out. Oh, only because I was already in charge of taking care of the animals at the school. They made me do it. You see. I should have said thank you then, but is it okay if I do now? Thank me. I... I'm that crane, you see. I've come to return the favor. Here, let me make you a cloak. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, I kind of figured, what? what is she talking about? Honestly, though, I was so impressed. That's why I always wanted to talk to you, though. Even just once. Uh, um. I never imagined this would be how I got my chance. Yeah, if we'd meet again at a train station somewhere downtown, that'd make for a nice and dramatic reunion. But instead, it's this weird school. I... Maybe, but still. I'm sure you'll help me find my way out. Just like that crane, you'll save me. You see? It's just my intuition. I know, but I still believe it. I'm going to save her? I'll do my best, I promise that. I'll make sure it's more than just intuition. I don't know. Sayaka, you're gonna have to save yourself. This is a this is a one man band. Like you gotta, gotta come up with your own plans. If there's anything I can do, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe in you. Besides, my intuition always turns out to be right. Like I said, I'm Because I'm a psychic. You're not a psychic. <laughs> she laughed out loud as she did. Um, the closer we get, the stronger that smile of hers makes me. I'm so glad to feel that way. Thaika's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. You just unlocked the melly, uh, melodious voice. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. What does that do? Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. I'm guessing that's like bedtime, right? Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, you can see by the little moon in the top, too. <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Okay, Monokuma. It is officially night time. Monokuma is drinking. Soon the doors to the dining hall will I be I know locked. bears can't drink and wine. Entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay, he's okay, just saying then. the same Sweet nonsense. Dreams, everyone. Good Only the bad boys, okay. Whatever, Monokuma. Nobody cares for you. Okay. We're definitely going to find something tomorrow. As my eyelids began to slide closed, the conversation I had with Saika that morning began to replay. In a way, it's almost frustrating. Even if I understand where her desperation is coming from, I can't share in it. The pressure she's under is way different from anything a normal high schooler like me goes through. She didn't just stumble into the school the way I did, so I can't say I feel the things the way she does. Compared to her, no. Compared to everyone else here, there's no doubt I just don't match up. I guess I might explain my own frustration. That's weird. The, the most luckiest student. I like Monokuma Theater, though. This music. This is fire. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, Ahem. So I'm sure that you've noticed the killing game has begun, but there's still room for a little laughter. It seems our nudist students are already so filled with despair. Still have some hope of escape. 
<laughs> so when will it begin? When will their hope begin to die? Is it time yet? Is it time? Pounding excitement! Someone's definitely gonna get killed tonight, bro. Someone's definitely dying in this game. Good morning, everyone! Yep. Get ready to greet another- yep. Morning has come. What should I do today? Oh, we got more free time? Leave the area. Let's go check out Sayaka again. Hello, Sayaka. Ring the doorbell. Oh, I can't ring. I just got to click the door. I don't really have anything to talk to her about right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. We, we need to see how we can get gifts. Let's do that. What is this? Is this the gift shop? No, this is the laundry. Who is reading this? There's some magazines laying around, probably to kill the time while you wait for your laundry. Okay, let's go. Oh, Sayako, what's up? Why is she just chilling here? Oh, Makoto, you wanted me? Just kidding. Oh, should I talk to Sayaka? Let's see who else is around. Let's check this whole map. Should we speak to Toko? Damn, everyone is asleep. Oh. I'm letting y'all know I don't like Toko. There's something about Toko I just don't like about her. You see. She probably doesn't like me either. <laughs> Spend some time with Sayaka. <sighs> I spent the time chatting with Sayaka. Sayaka and I grew a little closer today. Would you like? No, I don't have a present. I'm sorry, Sayaka. I don't got a. I don't got a gift for you. There's still lots of time left in the day. I really don't feel it. Okay. Oh, do we got more free time? Let's go. Sayaka, why are you the only one out? Oh, we can speak to people now. Yo, what is this boarded up? Keep out. The door won't budge. It must be locked. I mean, like, no shit, dude. That thing is boarded up. Dude, his room is literally separated from everyone else's. Oh, wait, no, never mind. What the heck? Makoto, I... Actually, never mind. What did you want? Let's speak with Sock. She can probably train me. You know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. How about I help you bulk up? Please. Please. Sakura subjected me to harsh, borderline cruel training session. Train me. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Sakura, I'm sorry. I don't got a present for you, but thank you. She's built like a Street Fighter character. Hopefully, I'll be looking like that in about a month. My post-training break is the most relaxing time for the day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you want to exercise every morning with Sakura? Oh, unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of the way. Yes, I always do my training. If I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? I can say I've never seen it as tough. It's also that I can get stronger. After all, all I can do is keep getting stronger. My destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? From that day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live it as an as its champion. That's one heck of a legend. Ooh, who is her dad? My father was my master. Real? And my every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with the boxing champions and hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. You mean you actually started beating people like that? I'd say my specialty is a solid stand-up that transitions into a grappling and a strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complete approach. Anything else would just wouldn't make sense. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline and fusing them all together. Stand-up fighting, oh wait, stand-up fighting, grappling, st that can only be mixed martial arts. Of course. That's right. That's the most effective real-world fighting style. That makes sense though, which is why I chose it. 
I don't want to just be the strongest competition on Earth or competitionist on Earth. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't bet against you. Oh, wait, no, I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But aren't you, like, already the best? No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Until I can be him, I'll never become the strongest. Her dad, maybe? You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time. There's an opportunity. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. Honestly, can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Sakura's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. Hey, I need Sakura to keep training me. We need to just get stronger. All right, ding dong, ming bong, it's nighttime. Oh, that was another day? Manakuma Theater. Hey, I need an immediate, fast acting pick me up. It doesn't act now. It's the same as giving in to regret. What do you think guides the world? Speed, of course. That's why Formula One drivers are so popular. Any idiot can accomplish something if they take it slow. Even a humane piece of excrement could create a masterpiece. Or a human piece of excrement. If they spend their entire life on it. Someone who does things in a timely fashion is both wise and admirable. Straight is better than a curve or an angle. Freestyle. Or it's better than the backstroke or breaststroke. Drive through is better than a sit down. A Sunday comic artist is smarter than a graphic novelist. What I'm saying is, speed is the gold standard of standard Which world. Why I said I need that pick me up. What pick me up? Meanwhile, zero point zero 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 two seconds later. What do you mean? Ding dong, bing bong. I have no clue what he was Good rambling on about. Time. I took in no information from that conversation. Alright, I woke up to the irritating sound of Monokuma's voice. I slowly pulled myself out of bed. Another night of restless sleep, day after day. I can, I can feel the fatigue piling up. As soon as I thought, uh, as the thought had crossed my mind, ding dong. The sound of the doorbell forced its way into my room. Psycho? Hey! Oh my god, it's you! A fantastic morning, isn't it? Taka. Mm. Now then, if you pardon the interruption, without waiting for a reply, Taka barged into my room. Oh my, look at him posted up in the middle of my room like this. What do you want? <laughs> no matter how intensely the stormy seas may batter me, I will not fall as long as my feet are firmly planted. You agree, right? Um, I'm not sure. And if you can't do it alone, just find someone to support you, and you can support them back. You hear me? That's how you can overcome any storm. Get out of my room. I was thinking about it last night. I decided we all need to really come together. And that was when I realized every morning from now on, after the morning announcement, everyone should have breakfast together. Quiet down and listen. And now is the beginning of a fateful day. Please head to the dining hall at your earliest convenience. Got it. That's all for now. I have to go and let everyone else know the good news. Taka didn't even wait for a reply. He turned and left before I could even say anything. Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall. Let's go. I mean, we're not even doing nothing to figure out a way out either. Oh, we got herd chilling here. Um, Toko. What's your problem? Oh, I was just wondering what you were doing here. You should probably head into the dining hall. <sighs> I know, I just need to prepare myself mentally. Prepare herself? What is she talking about? <laughs> I'm so nervous. What's she so nervous about? I don't like that face she just made. I don't like that. All right, everyone's here. Are we just speaking to every single one of you? What about Junko, right? How do you even see her? But more important. Okay, okay. If I absolutely must talk to you, just hurry up and start the stupid meeting. Taka's going to throw a fit if we don't. All right, Taka. Listen to me. Okay, looks like everyone's here. So then, let's begin our first breakfast meeting. Everyone, thank you for making the time in your busy schedules to come together. I didn't even make time for this shit. You dragged me into it. I know I already mentioned this earlier, but in order to get out of here, it is essential that we must all cooperate with each other. And the first step is the breakfast meeting to allow us to become friends and build trust. So from now on, 
I thought my cat was like at my door. I saw me here in the dining hall every morning after the morning announcement. Now then, let's eat. You want me to eat breakfast with other people? I've never done that before. I'm not sure. I mean, seriously? Yeah, it's been a while for me too. But more important. Oh, well, anyway, did anyone happen to come up with any clues? Silence echo through the dining hall. Seriously? Call. Anything. It can be about how to get out or who's doing this. Nobody has anything. Are you okay with this? Oh, here she comes, bro. Top tier hater. You are going to die. Huh? If you can't stop yourself from showing weakness in front of others, you will die. Stop it. What the hell? Don't even freaking joke about that. <laughs> oh, I'm not joking. Adaptability is survivability. Did I not say so? So you'd better hurry up and adapt to your new life here. What the hell is this? Have you gone completely insane? Adapt to my new life here? Do you have any idea what you're saying? What? Yeah, it sounds like this girl what? wants to live here. And hell, more power to her. But shit. Piece of no shit. way in hell I'm living here. I'm getting out of here. I don't give a shit. Sure, feel free. Okay, so nobody has any clues. What the heck? One thing I can tell you is who's behind all this. Someone who's totally weird and messed up. Why else will we be trapped in here with the fir in the first place? Well, sure, it could be some uh, something like that, but for right now, actual clues are... Uh, um... Um... Uh, oh, what's up? Um... If you think in terms of people who are really abnormal or bizarre, do you think that person could be responsible for all this, like... Could be a certain murderous fiend. A murderous fiend, Chihiro. Uh, Chihiro. Do you have some idea who might be all, uh, behind this? Well, maybe. I mean, I can't really be certain, but certainty is not a concern right now. I'll allow whatever remarks you may have. You know? Okay, well. Have you guys ever heard of Genocide Jack? You mean the serial killer that's been in the news all over the internet? <laughs> that monstrous villain who's murdered scores of victims in brutally bizarre fashion. The word bloodlust was left at each murder scene written in the victim's own blood. Whoever it is, he's like a ghost. He strikes without warning and it disappears just without trace. And on the internet, they started calling him Genocide Jack. That about covers it, I think. They say he's claimed over a thousand victims. Damn! It's just an urban legend though, right? I mean, even like 10 people would be totally insane. Anyway, whoever Genocide Jack really is, he's obviously some kind of super crazy killer. Huh? And if he really is this ultimate psycho, I wouldn't be surprised if he put this together. But, but like I said, I can't be certain. I don't have any evidence or anything like that. It's just a thought. But if they're the killer, is it that like a killer problem for us? Yeah. It's okay. Everything's absolutely positively 100% without a doubt going to be okay. Because help's going to be here soon. I'm sure of it. Help? Because, I mean... Why was she shocked about hearing help? You're weird. You and Sayaka, both of y'all. We've been stuck in here for a few days already, right? Nobody's been able to contact us, so I'm sure they're getting worried. I bet they called the police already. <laughs> y'all summon Monokuma's Hayden out. You, you summoned him. What's this? The police. You're putting your faith in the police? What are you doing here? You guys. you guys, seriously, do you understand what role the police exist to fill? All they're good for is being a foil, playing against a villain or anti-hero or evil organization. The bad guys come along, destroy them, and that just shows how badass they really are. Are you really sure you want to rely on unreliable group of losers? Yeah. I mean, come on, if you really want to get out here, all you got to do is kill. <laughs> what the Yikes. Hell? Why the hell are you laughing? Nope. I'm just impressed at the total commitment to this whole act. You're still going on about that? So Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, what the hell do you want? Huh? Mr. Serial Killer Psycho Freak Bastard, huh? That's a pretty long name. Jeremy, maybe? Hey, come on. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> we know who you really are. Maybe if I ignore him, he'll just go away. <laughs> 
You son of a bitch! Hey, don't ignore me, asshole! Your life here has already begun, and a couple of days have gone by, and nobody's killing anybody. I thought all you kids were lazy and selfish, and here you are working together. But I am totally bored. But there's nothing you can say that'll make us start killing each other. I got it! Wait, you think? Yes! Ding, 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 I figured it out! All the mystery ingredients are right here. Right people? Right places? So why hasn't anyone killed anyone yet? That's what I couldn't understand. But I realized there was one important piece missing. What are you? Ching. If you want to know, I'll tell you the motive. It's so simple. I just have to give everyone a motive. Stop fucking around. Motive? What are you talking about? Hey, um... Oh, by the way, there's something I want to show you guys. I have a little video I'd like you all to see. Oh, oh but don't worry. I'm not some pervy adult video or anything. Seriously, it's nothing like that. A special video of each of you showing what's going on outside of school. Outside of school? What are you talking about? Oh, Master's so impatient today. Master. Huh? Why don't you just watch it and find out? Here in the school, there's a specific place you can go that has everything you need to watch the video. Good. We can go watch the video right now. But before we do that, I'd like to know. What are you? Why would you do something like this? What do you want from us? What do I want from you? Well, if you must know. Despair. That's all. <laughs> Yo. What? Do whatever you need to uncover the mystery hidden within the school. I won't try to stop you. Because <laughs> to be honest, it's entertaining as heck watching you guys search so desperately for answers. So I guess I want amusement from you too. We got nothing from that interaction. Once again, he left. But we couldn't find out anything useful. Is that right? Really? I think we learned something very useful. He has no intention of standing in the way of our pursuit of truth, though. However. Perhaps, but what about the video he mentioned? I'm very curious to see what's on it. That's true. Same here. Okay, so... Mono started glancing around the dining hall, but when his gaze landed on me, he stopped. Hell yeah. Hey, Makoto, check this out for us, would ya? What? Why me? Yo. Because you're the closest to the door. That's the rule, right? Rule. Jesus Christ. Hey, 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 hey. Piece hey! Of shit. Stop you see how around. passionately I'm begging you? What's the big deal? Just check it out real quick, please. Okay, I guess I'll get going then. Hell yeah. Awesome, thanks. I owe you one. If Mikado's going, I'm gonna go with him. It's not that safe to walk around this place alone. Yo. Yeah, sure thing. We're counting on the both of you. If anything happens, just yell and I'll come run it. He's a real one for that. Actually, Mondo might be my favorite character so far. Mondo might be my He might be. That's a big mic, though. I can't decide if Mondo is... Totally dependable or completely terrible? Yeah, I'd say he's kind of both. He's not exactly a bad person, but I definitely can't say he's a good person either. So then, where's this specific place Manakuma mentioned? It must be somewhere you can watch DVDs, but... If it's a place set up to watch DVDs, then... Is there a theater? Oh, there's gonna be a bath? Oh, so much... We're gonna get so much later, what? Wait, there's a bath. Does that mean we don't have showers in our rooms? So all of us are walking around this place musty. Oh, here we go. Maybe it's down here. Bro, this place looks so eerie. Yo, what is this? Oh, this is the entrance. Wait, wait, wait. I need to do a double take. Did they have, like, miniguns set up on the entrance door to make sure nobody get... Oh, they set up. Oh, yeah. They making sure nobody get in out. Okay. Oh, in here. 100% in here. All right. We found it. Yo, what type of room is this? Is this, like, the music? Maybe not in here? Oh, oh next to the monitor is a high-end DVD player. It should be able to play DVDs, but I don't see any actual discs nearby. A DVD player is useless by itself. If we add something to watch, at least that, that'll help pass the time. Oh, are the DVDs right here? 
Yep. Everyone's DVDs, a bunch of DVDs. Each one has a label on it with someone's name. There must be a video for each of us he mentioned. I better go and tell everyone. She just ran off. I didn't follow after her. I just stood right there where I was, and the DVDs in front of me had robbed me of all awareness. I was rooted in place. I think I see something. I started through the DVDs I'd found and found the one with my name on it. Then I slid it into the expensive looking player. I sat down and stared intently at the darkened screen and then. Oh, are we gonna get a backstory? <gasps> oh, he had a sister. I yelled out without realizing and my heart started racing. But what I saw on that monitor, it was my family. You getting picked to attend Hope's Peak Academy is like a dream come true. Make sure you do your best. Bro, I thought I heard something. I thought Monokuma was pulling up to my room instead, bro. I was about to say, Monokuma, chill. I'm so proud of you, son. But remember, don't push yourself too hard. W parents. Are you watching this, Makoto? Good luck, okay? Yo. If it had ended there, that would have been fine. A message of love and support. After leaving my family behind to attend Hope's Peak, it would have given me hope, given me strength. If this was a normal school, I would have been happy, if a little embarrassed. With my family's support to rely on, I would have been motivated to do even better. But here now, it was totally different. I wasn't living in an ordinary school life, so I had a pretty, a pretty strong feeling that the video wasn't going to end there. No. I hated having that feeling, but it turned out I was absolutely right. Don't tell me you killed off all three family members. This time, I couldn't even make a sound. My voice just died. Where'd everyone go? It looks like a war zone or something. As if in the reply, a voice came floating out of the speakers. I recognized the voice, of course. It was him. Makoto Naegi, accepted into Hope Speak Academy. Yikes. family who supported such a lucky boy. But it seems like... Something's happened to this family's well-being. Oh boy, this is bad. What could have possibly happened to this family's well-being? Look for the answer after graduation. Are you serious, bro? What happened to everyone? I started trembling. I could feel the fear and anger building up inside me like hot magma. God damn it! I slammed my fist against the desk over and over again. A single thought was racing through my mind. What else? How could I think about anything else? I have to get out of here. I have to get out of here right now and I have to make sure everyone's safe. M Makoto? Mm. What happened? Make sure who's safe? I noticed everyone standing around the entrance to the AV room. They stared at me, faces full of confusion. Um. What's going on? Without a word, I pointed to the cardboard box. Is it like... Is that what Monokuma was talking about? What does this mean? What's on them? They all gathered around the box. Each of them grabbed the DVD with their name on it. One by one, they each rushed to the monitor. It didn't take long for them to react. What, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, this can't be real. This has to be fake, right? Hey, yeah, no way. It's real. No way. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Let me out of here. As soon as I saw the reactions, I knew. They'd all seen something like what I'd seen. Nobody even bothered trying to hide their fear and confusion. Except for her. Even now, she's totally calm. I see. I see. So this is what he meant by motive. He wants to fuel our desire to leave so that we're more likely to start killing each other. Yes, indeed. It is the classic prisoner dilemma. Hmm? Huh? Hmm. Let me use an example. Imagine two countries are on the brink of war, but both countries want peace, and each commences scaling back their forces as a sign of good faith. But there's a chance that one country may betray the other, so each country fears lowering their guard. The result is that neither scales break their forces, and they both end up betraying each other. Do you understand? In other words, the fear of invisible treachery becomes the greatest uh, enemy of stability. <laughs> this this kind of sucks. 
like us right now. Our sound it's not sucks. Everyone says though we're together, but in our hearts, we're all afraid someone might betray us. Don't put those awful thoughts in our head. That's exactly what they want us to do. Huh? You can't say that. Maybe you're thinking that's uh, what everyone, uh, that once everyone drops their guard, you can't just... What? Is what? This? Hey. this is exactly what Monokuma or whoever's behind us wants. They want us to fight, don't you see? I yeah, we all need to calm down. So then. Okay then, maybe we should all start by just talking. Maybe if we all just talk about what we saw, that'll help uh, get everything out of our system. Besides, I think we're all super curious, right? I wonder what was in everyone's videos. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't curious. Hey, Sayaka. Oh yeah, she's been through it, dude. What was in your video, Sayaka? What's your problem? What's wrong? Just hurry up and tell us. Sayaka. I gently placed my hand on her shoulder. Stop it! Did she just run off? Come on, your video can't be as bad as ours. She pushed my hand away and suddenly ran off. S Sayaka? That's enough. Let her go. I can't do that. I have to go make sure she's okay. <laughs> I hate romantic comedies like this. I don't care what happens to her personally. What? That's because you're totally thoughtless. Um... I'm really worried. <sighs> then why don't you go do whatever you think you have to do? We don't, we all, we don't all have to stick together to, uh, right? I hope you are well. Speaking of which, I have my own things to take care of. Goodbye. Everyone went their separate ways, but I don't have time to worry about them right now. I have to go find Sayaka. All right, let's go, let's go find her. Let's leave the area. Where could she have gone? She can't have gone far. I should check around the school. Oh, I thought she was just chilling right here, but it's just Asahina. Is that her name? Asahina, okay. So let's leave. She probably went back to her room. Is what I'm thinking. Oh, wait, no, this is... Wait, no, I do not need to be... Oh, you just now discovered this whole, like, death machine, Leon. How? What, 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 what do you think about this, man? <laughs> I'm not going to tell you, and that's all there is to it. What? Uh, I'm not going to tell you. No way. Hell no. No way in hell. You... You're just acting nice, so we'll tell you what you want to hear. You can't fool me. What the hell? Damn it. How the hell did they get the footage of that? I'm, I just I wanted to hear your opinion about these mini guns on the door. I don't care about your family. Lakoto, aren't you like super curious what's in everyone's videos? I mean, I can't say I'm not curious. <laughs> right, I could totally tell, but does that mean you're gonna tell me what's in yours? Hmm, who knows? It all depends on what kind of mood I'm in, you know? I don't think she's gonna tell me. All right. You know, it's all good. You don't need to tell me. What is this? Oh, this is a new area. Is this a classroom? Okay, Sayaka wouldn't be. Oh, oh, she is in here. Oh, oh, the presence is enough. Stop. The desk that I woke up on the other day. Okay, all right. What's up, Sayaka? How are you doing? You doing good? Your family got a race too, didn't they? I found her in one corner of an empty classroom. She was sitting in a chair, hands on her knees, staring absently at the floor. She looked like maybe she was upset or angry. Or no, she didn't have any expression at all. There was nothing on her face that you uh, you could call emotion. It was as if her original mask has been stripped away. I mean, she, she, uh, she it looks like she died. Sarika, are you okay? Uh, uh, I, I, I'm fine. Actually, no, how could I possibly be fine? What did we do to end up like this? Why are we... Why are they doing such a terrible thing? No, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tripping. It's getting late. I'm getting silly. <gasps> I forgot how our voice went. Why did I do that? I ruined my flow, dude. Why are they doing such a terrible thing to us? I want out. Let me Why? out of here right now. Saika, so calm down. As she thrashed around, I grabbed her by the shoulders. Huh? I understand. I know how you feel right now, but when I think that uh, what might have happened to my family, but now more than ever, we have to stay calm. This is exactly what they want. They want us to lose our composure and stop thinking rationally. 
Think about it. Those videos have to be fake. Because if those things really had happened, people out there would be in an uproar. Our families, the police, everyone, right? So let's just calm down, okay? Otherwise, we've already lost. I know I was trying to convince myself as much as her. I kept repeating those words to myself to clear away the images that have been burned into my brain. Be calm, okay? Just be calm. As long as we work together, I'm sure we can find a way out of here. And help might not even come back before that. But what if there isn't a way out? What if help never comes? If that happens, then I'll get you out of here myself, no matter what it takes. All right, Makoto, we need to calm down now, all right? We need to... We, we need to remember. We need to remember something. She may not be safe either. It's only you and me, Makoto. We got to get each other out of this situation. When I said that I paused, I had no idea what have come uh what came over me. Sayaka? Please help me. Her voice was so small and shaky. Why, Why is this happening to me? To kill or be killed? I just can't take this anymore. Sayaka. Damn, dude. Finally, she raised her face up from my chest. She looked at me with those big, wet eyes of hers. Makoto. And can I believe what you said? Huh? That you'll help me get out, no matter what it takes. Absolutely. Makoto. Makoto, you're the only one I can trust, so please. No I don't know. I don't know. Of course I'll be there for you. Is what Makoto said. No matter what. I'm always on your side, I mean. You are my assistant after. That was corny. Hang it up, brother. Makoto. Thank you, Makoto. Hearing you say that, I feel like I can keep going. I, I can get through this as long as you're here with me. Because I'm your assistant. All right, you know what? It made her happy though. The smile I'd come to know so well returned to her face. It felt like a, a little forced, but still, it was a huge improvement on how she was before. Hey, hey! Oh my God! He he has so much aura. Every time he shows up, he enters in with his own theme song. Makoto, it's standing up. What's standing up? Come on! Do you even have that? the hell out of here excuse me <laughs> yo excuse i want to join what i balled up my fist took aim and swung as hard as i could knock him out i had never put so much energy into a single motion before in my life i leaned back channeling all my power and let, and let go with everything i had knock that man out are you okay if i hadn't avoided your punch you would have just violated school regulations but boy, are you slow, 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 slow. I could have down a thousand dollar full course dinner in the time it took you to finish your swing. Your speed, agility, alertness, passion, boldness, sense of despair, antagonization is all lacking. I hate him. I hate him. I hate him. He just leaves. And he just... <laughs> <laughs> Monokuma had come along and swiftly destroyed a good mood we just created. Sayaka and I headed back to the dorms. All right. You should get some rest. Sayaka, you still look pretty shaken. Sorry. Sorry for making you worry about me. You're right. I'm going to lay down for a bit. With a nod and a small bow, she disappeared into her room. Now on my own, I headed off to tell everyone Sayaka was okay. And once that was done, I headed back to my room. It was a hard time. It was hard to think after watching my uh that the range video. I needed some rest of my own. Okay. All right, I got to figure out how to fix this controller. Jeez. Seriously, what's going on here? There's just so many problems. I can't even decide what the biggest problem is. That we're trapped in here that what I saw in the video might be real? Monokuma? What's the mastermind have in store for us or are we our biggest problem? I want to get out of here. 
but I can never kill someone. The others all feel the same. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest problem right now. All right, when I opened my eyes, they darted immediately to the clock. It's almost 10 o'clock. I fell asleep without even realizing it. Nighttime's about to start. So how come someone's here? Wait, what? I'm really sorry I came by so late. Sayaka, what is she doing here? Sayaka, what are you doing here so late? That's when I noticed her body was trembling. Is everything okay? It was so strange. Something, something really weird. Well, what's weird? Just a little while ago, I was laying down in my room and all of a sudden my door started rattling and shaking. Her voice sounded like all the air had been squeezed out of her lungs. Just hearing her talk made me tense up. I was up. so scared. It was like someone was trying to force the door open. My door was locked, so they couldn't get in, of course. But they started shaking the door harder and harder. Yo. How, why did she feel safe to come out? I was so scared I couldn't move. So what happened? After a while, it just stopped. I let some time go by, then I got up and opened the door to check outside. Oh, no. But there was nobody there. Someone tried to force their way into your room? But who would do something like I that? Mean... It's not like I got my suspicions of anyone here, but it still makes me nervous. But if something like that happened in the middle of the night, what would I do then? I, to be honest, these people are not doing what I do. And it was something I do. I would put something in front of the door before I would go to bed. I would barricade myself in to make sure nobody gets in. Best option. But, but that's just the promise we made, right? If someone decided to break the promise, then why don't you stay in my room tonight? Would that make you feel a lot better? What? All it said in the school regulations was that we had to sleep in dorm rooms, right? It didn't say specifically which room each person had to sleep in, so... Hey, um... But two people sharing a room is, you know... Oh! Oh, jeez, I didn't even think about it. Honestly, that didn't even cross my mind. No, I know me either, but I'm not even that I mind the idea, but if you don't mind... Could we maybe switch rooms just for tonight? Switch rooms? If it'll help you put your mind at ease, it's totally fine with me. But I don't mind you staying in my room, but are you sure okay with me staying in yours? That doesn't like concern you? It's fine. I trust you. In that case, then. Ding dong, bing bong. All right. Nothing too crazy is going on. You know, this game has been really chill. Nothing has happened. It has been just going by smoothly. <laughs> Announcement. It is now. Time I mean, yeah, it's good announcement. Okay, Anytime then. Monokuma does these nightly announcements, I'm skipping them. It's already night time. All right, let's head to our room. That's right. We'll have to trade keys again. Like I said, I'm psychic. Oh yeah, we do. Hey, aren't you gonna say you were just kidding? <laughs> what if I wasn't kidding? Something resembling a smile had been made uh, on her face. Thank goodness. It looks like she's already starting to get back to normal. All right, good. She's getting better. Okay, we better trade okay. keys then. Yep, let's do it. We exchanged the keys, and when I looked back up at her again, there was another worried expression there. Uh, um. Makoto, please be careful. If someone comes to the door, don't open it no matter what. I won't. Same goes for you, Sayaka. No matter who it is, don't open your door for anyone. All right. <laughs> Even I'm sure it's you. I absolutely won't open it. Otherwise, what's the point of even switching? Oh, by the way, just so you know, my bathroom door tends to get stuck. There's a little trick to opening it. You have to turn the knob, then lift up the door while you pull it out. Just do that and the door should open no problem. Okay, but the showers don't work during nighttime anyways, right? Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. But I guess I might use it when I get up in the morning, so thank you. Okay, well, I better get going. See you tomorrow, Sayaka. Hey, um... Oh, and about what I said before, hmm? <laughs> when I said I was a psychic, it was a joke. Honestly, I'm just very perceptive. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Good night, then. All right. Sayaka so gave me one last parting smile, and I headed off to my room. All right, y'all. 
Everyone else doors were closed. Good, nobody's here, making sure nobody's around to spot me. I rush to Sayaka's room. Her room is literally my room, but like pink pillows. It smells nice though. All right, let's go to bed. Knowing Sayaka slept on it makes me look forward to trying it out. Okay, dude, you're weird. You're weird, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna have to look around this room first. Her disc is in her trash. Can we go out and... That's gonna be prying, though. I I'm kind of curious to see what's on it. But it's probably best if I wait until she brings it up again. I have no clue. Like, what happened to my controller? Oh, wait, 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 wait. We gotta look in here. My room is with the toolkit, but Saika has a sewing kit, just like the note said. And next to it is a map of the body's vital organs. I don't think Saika would like me snooping around too much. I should probably go to bed soon. As I lowered myself onto Saika's bread, uh, bread, bread, a pleasant fragrance, fragrance, Saika said. Maybe it'll bring me some sweet dreams. Okay. Monokuma dream time. Feeling a little better. I fell asleep. Dude, my one piece of hair. Also on this side, it's acting so funky. Hey, imagine you're all in a big spaceship in the middle of an intergalactic adventure. You've heard of Noah's Ark, right? We're sort of like that. We set sail and left the Earth behind. Here, you don't have to worry about crazy neighbors, corrupt cops, drunk drivers, or pyromaniacs. You don't have to worry about the ozone layer or asthma-inducing air pollution. And of course, you have to- Oh, you don't have to stress about studying for finals or practicing for the big game, but- But even our divine world of freedom has a few rules. After all, freedom can only exist because of these rules. If you really- Oh, if you're really dead set on returning to that tiny piece of dog poop you call Earth, please do your best to follow the rules. I hope I made myself perfectly so clear. Then, let's everyone do our best to follow these new guidelines and live happily ever after together! All right, Monokuma. <laughs> Following the rules. Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to get ready. All right. To Let's go, daytime. I sat up still half asleep and rubbed my eyes and slowly pulled myself out of bed. I remembered I was in Sayaka's room. I just remembered I promised to eat breakfast with everyone. I'd better get going. I left Sayaka's room and made my way toward the dining hall. Oh, I thought the dining hall switched up. I was about to say. A few people have already gathered to the dining hall by the time I got there. <laughs> Hello, Makoto. And good morning. Can you believe it? I was the very first one here this morning. <laughs> Good morning. Hey, Makoto. Morning. I suppose I'm early. I figured everyone who had arrived on time could be considered model high schoolers. And the ones who showed up a little late. Yo. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Sorry I'm late. My makeup just would not cooperate with me this morning. Ah, well, hello. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. My morning uh, duty took a little longer than usual. I don't want to know. I don't want to know what that is. Well, the types with a more relaxed sense of time, most high schoolers fall into this category. And finally, the ones who kept everyone waiting forever. Indeed. Suppose I'm late. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. My bad, my bad. My bad guy slipped right through my alarm. What's your <laughs> problem? It's so awful to be late. Yo. I didn't oversleep, just so you know. Nope, got lost. I blame the Bermuda Triangle. What? Don't care about the time or other people in general. They're the kind to move at their own pace. We're Sayaka. But regardless, everyone had a ride. But at least that's how it was supposed to go. Hmm. Wait, aren't we missing some people? Yeah, Saika and Bakuya aren't here yet. I don't know about Byakuya, but I would definitely put Saika in the model high school category. So for her to be so late... What? What's going on? Did something happen? Yo. Hey, man. Have you seen Saika? 
Why would I? I just came straight from my room to here. Why is he smirking like that? Did she forget about our breakfast promise? However, I got the sense she always has her stuff together. Listening to everyone talk like that, a small dark speck of unease rose up inside of me. And that speck started to grow quickly. No, bro. I have to check on her. If they killed her, the world had barely, or uh, the worst had barely left my heels before I flew into the hall. Nah, man. Where was I headed first? My room where I let Saki say where she was supposed to be safe? But over the course of that one night, oh, we are cooked, bro. The room had been completely transformed. What the hell? Okay, those are my keys. Or no, those are her keys. Oh, she's dead, dude. Wait, I don't see any blood, though. This is a replica sword I bought back for self-defense. It's been taken out of its sheath. More importantly, where's Sayaka? This is a tragic uh, replica sword I brought back. Okay. I see this bathroom door open, bro. Even the bed is cut up. Let's take a look inside. Oh, bro. Damn, you said fuck the katana. Let me get a knife. It took me a second to realize that I was screaming. What I saw a Doug, it's uh, what I saw Doug its way through my eyes and buried itself in my brain. And then, and then everything went black. She's dead, bro. When I opened my eyes, I found myself staring at a huge ceiling. It was a ceiling I remembered seeing before. And when I sat up, I saw someone looking at me again. It was someone I'd seen before. Oh, and now they're all thinking I'm the one who did it, right? Ah. You're awake. Finally, you're okay. Yeah. Now it's no time for sleeping. Get your ass up. Huh? Uh, um, you were unconscious, dude. I had to carry you back here. What? No surprise considering what happened. What happened? Oh my god! Okay. Um. You okay? So it wasn't a dream. What I saw, it was real. Hm. Bro. That's right. It really did happen. Sayaka is dead. A deep, dark despair worked its way through my body and then exploded out of me. I shot up and took off running. Hey, where do you think you're going? I have to see more myself. I have to see if Saki, if Saki is. Give up. You can check once, check twice, check a thousand times. Saki is completely unrevocably dead. Damn. No, I have to see for myself. What? What? I'm going to calm down before Mondo knocks me out. I don't want to uh, the part two. Listen to us, man. What do you think is going to happen if you go out there? Well, what good is it going to do just sitting around here? I mean, why are we all hanging out in a gym at a time like this? Our friend Sayaka, she's, she's dead. Dead. When I said that, it finally hit me. I realized she was really gone. Calm down. None of us want to be here right now either. Then why? Shouldn't it be obvious? Monokuma told us all to come here. Well, hold on. Don't talk like that. We all protested it. I mean, we remember the terrible price Sayaka had to pay. But so I'm the one who convinced them to come. Right now, we need to do whatever he says. We're his prisoners, right? It's not a good idea to defy him without reason. We don't need to make any more sacrifices than we already have. Why should we listen to anything he says? It's obvious he's the one who killed Sayaka. Wrong. I would never do that. If you can believe anything, you can believe that. <laughs> he's here again. Hey, um... 
Unless someone violates a school regulation, I absolutely will not interfere. I can promise you, I won't do anything that goes against the purpose of your school life here. Listen up! I'm famous at safari parks throughout the world for following the Bear Times One rule. But... Then who did it? Who killed her? Come on! You already know the answer. The one who killed her is one of you. Nobody had a reply for that. One of us killed Sayaka? Don't be stupid. Wawa? That's. <laughs> Wawa? What's the matter? You guys all look like you're about to see a dove get shot up with a Gatling gun. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you when this all began? <laughs> one of you decided to kill Sayaka so that you could graduate. Someone just follows. Oh, someone's just following the rules. There's nothing wrong with that. Well. You're you're lying, right? Of course he's lying. I'm telling you, he killed her. Wrong. Nope. Sorry. One of you is a bona fide killer. If they wanted to, the one who did it could testify to that little fact. What? Without thinking, I looked around at everyone. They all had the same look on their face. Everyone looked at each other with a combination of fear, suspicion, and confusion. Uh, um, Are you serious? Wh what is this? So someone killed someone! <laughs> it is amazing what some people are capable of. Just hold on. Hey, hey, hold on. Don't just assume he's telling the truth. Stop talking. <laughs> Stop talking. Before we do anything else, I like to confirm something with the stuffed animal here. Hmm. If one of us really did kill her, that person gets to graduate from the school, right? Huh? huh? Come on. Don't play dumb. That's what you said, isn't it? If you kill someone, you get to leave. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? <laughs> it's cuz. <laughs> naive. You're just so naive. You think it's really that easy? You can just kill someone and watts on out of here? Hey, You're super on, naive! Now. Devilishly naive! Hellishly naive! Damn! No, 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 no. The real thing has just begun. The real thing? Now then! Are you ready? Allow me to explain the second part of the rules regarding graduation. Just like I explained before, you must kill someone if you want to leave. However, even if you do that, there's still one more part to the agreement to uphold. Remember? Then perhaps... You're referring to the rule number six of the school regulation. If you are the blacken that committed the murder, you can't be found out by the other students. This is what you're talking about, is it not? In other words... Bingo! It's not enough to just kill someone. You have to actually get away with it. Which actually means you need a system in place to assess whether or not it's been gotten away with. So a certain amount of time after our murder has taken place, a crash trial will begin. A crash trial? Hmm. Yep. It'll be a few hours after the murder. Everyone will gather together, including the blackened who committed the murder. And they and the spotless students will engage in the one big debate showdown. During oh. the trial, you'll have to present your arguments about who you think the Blackened is. And once everything comes to an end, the outcome will be decided by popular vote. Okay. If the answer you've arrived at is correct, only the one... Oh, I didn't mean to skip you. I'm sorry, Monaco. Punished. The rest may continue their communal life. However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with murder will So, survive. when we figure out the and murderer, the they'll kill the murderer. Will receive your punishment. Which, of course, means your school life will come to an end. As far as class trial rules go, that's all there is to... Oh, I thought I could go back in the chat to see... All right. Well... So, um... What exactly is this punishment you keep talking about? Hmm. Oh, well, punishment to put it simply. What? It's execution. Yeah. Execution? What? And by execution, you mean? Execution is 
Execution. Electric chair. <laughs> Poison gas. <laughs> Torn apart like a paper plane in a hurricane. So, to make sure I understand, if we get the culprit right, then only they die. But if we get it wrong, all the rest of us get executed? Well done. What a smart little chimpanzee you are. Look at you implying you didn't do it without saying it. So it's basically what the outside world calls a lay judge system. Or an inquisition type thing. Which means you'll be deciding who you think is the killer is. Mm. But judge carefully because all your lives are on the line. Uh -huh. Okay, let me just add the rule I just described to your handbook. Make sure to keep that in mind. A new rule has been added to the regulations menu. Hold on a second. You're freaking insane, you know that? Huh? What the? A class trial? What the hell is that? I don't want anything to do with it. What's this? Why not? Stop it. What do you mean, why not? Why do I have to waste my time trying to figure out who murders somebody? What are you saying? You're not going to participate in the trial? Only punishment awaits such blasphemy. What the hell are you talking about? Punishment? Hmm. I might, I don't know. Throw you in a deep, dark, scary prison or something. Shut the hell up. Shut the hell up. Say whatever you want. I'm not going to be a part of this. I don't believe it. Don't be so selfish. Stop it. You're the one being selfish. Go whoever you want. It's got nothing to do with me. <gasps> the evil standing here before me. I'm here, trembling with fear. Ching. But I won't give in to such evil. It's my style to stick it out and resist till the very end. If you really want to get out of here, you'll have to go through me first. As he said that he came charging at us, although it was way more of a waddle. But then... Are you enjoying yourself now? She actually got him. He's going to explode. Violence against Headmaster Monokuma is not allowed. We violated a school. Is she going to get cooked? Move away from them! I invoke the mighty summon spell! Help! To me, godly spear, Gunnir! What? R.I.P. R.I.P. Damn! What did she expect, though? What? <laughs> This wasn't supposed to... Why me? Suddenly, right at the end, her eyes shot up, uh, shot out wide open. And just like that, she never moved again. Oh my, what? No they showed way. her laid out like that. <laughs> Yo, why did everything just start turning up out of nowhere? I, I don't... This can't be real. Yo, yeah. no wait. Well, now. Now I am painfully aware of the great power and meaning of a promise. I really wanted to keep a corpse from popping up for no good reason, you know. Yeah. But I guess you all need to be taught a lesson. After all, ha, what an amazing promise. But now you guys understand, right? Now you see just how serious I am. Defy me, and you get shot full of holes, exploded, buried alive, disintegrated, etc. So, if you don't want that to happen to you, you best obey those he just summoned regulations. Spear, I didn't know he knew magic. Dang! She got nedgied. The unbelievable amount of blood started pouring out of her body. It was the first time I'd ever seen the moment of someone's life came to an end. Nobody there could deny what they seen. Junko, who until just a second ago had been our friend, was dead. She died. She'd been murdered. In simple terms, it was the death of a human being. Hey, um, it's really all not that shocking. She just died. That's all. Just when it died. It's no more remarkable than the inevitable demise of the entire human race. It's just as natural as the eventual end of the world itself. <laughs> this isn't some superhero comic. 
So it's not like when you die, you didn't really die. Ah! This is reality. Why? Why did you have to kill her? Didn't you say you would put her in prison or something? Hmm. I changed my mind. I knew. No, you've been wanting to kill this entire time. What? Kill this entire time? Don't be silly. You can't kill this time. Why are you being metaphorical? Are you saying I wanted to waste time this whole time? Come on. What do you take me for? I'm Monokuma. Now, now. Anyway, none of that matters right now. I have something I'd like to give you. To help you in your search for the Blacken. Ah! This little file has all the information I've gathered about the death in question. I like it's to call it... The Monokuma file! Okay. Mm. I mean, naturally, you guys aren't experts at this kind of thing. So, you can only do so much with the corpse. So instead, I've gathered up everything I know. The circumstances and the cause of death. What's that? How do I know the cause of death? You ask? Because the surveillance cameras picked up the whole thing. I got to see it all go down. So then. Wait, so then, you know who killed Sayaka? <laughs> of course I do. If I didn't, I couldn't possibly pass a fair and an accurate judgment during the trial, now could I? Correct. That's a good point. The judge has to be able to make the proper decision. That's somehow comforting. Well? Now then, please put your full effort behind your investigation. After all, you don't have any choice to give it your best shot. Seriously, you don't have a choice. Okay, so we'll meet up for the class trial in a little while. He has the most goofiest cartoon sounds when he leaves and when he enters. Monokuma disappears once again. He left us in total loss. He left us with Junko's dead body growing colder right in front of us. Damn! She got done so dirty. Y'all ain't gonna pick her up? What? And for who knows how long, nobody said a word. The fact that Saika and Junko were head or were dead was a huge shock, of course. But there was more than it to that. It was also the idea that one of us has actually murdered someone, and that if we didn't find out who it was, we would all die here. We found ourselves in a situation where we couldn't help but look at each other with open suspicion. It was the worst imaginable, the worst situation imaginable. And yet, even in such perversely terrible situations, she didn't show the slightest hint that it had gotten to her. Hey. Now's no time to wallow in your depression. The worst thing that we can do right now is lose faith in each other. That would lead to the same disastrous result as having total faith in everyone else. What? Huh? In other words, cooperation is absolute, or is the absolute key to this point. Who do you decide to trust or not trust is, of course, up to you. <laughs> Continuing to think about and talk about the deceased that really isn't gonna help anything. What the heck? Saying stuff like that is just... <sighs> how many times have I told you anyone who can adapt will die? Death is the only thing awaiting those who are unable or unwilling to adapt. <laughs> if that happens, you only have yourself to blame. That's terrible! What an awful thing to say, especially after what's happened. Just a second. Right now, exposing the killer is the most important thing, because if we don't, we're all going to die here. She's right. We need to begin our search right away. Of course. What do y'all think it is? Either way, we can't run away from the situation, so we have no choice but to move forward. What the heck? We just have to do it, I guess. What other choice do we have? <laughs> no way in hell I'm letting someone kill me. All right, damn it, let's do this. We just have to do it. Everyone kept repeating that sentiment. They were using it like a mantra to give themselves strength, but they were right. We just have to do this. No matter how much we don't want to, we have no choice. If that's what it takes to survive, then that's what we have to do. And on top of that, there was something I needed to find out. I didn't know why Sayaka had to die, why she had to be the one. I'm terrified to find out, but still, I have to know. Otherwise, I knew I'd never be able to accept her death, which is why. I don't have any other choice but to do this. All right, y'all. This is what we're gonna do. Why are we posted up over her dead body like this? This is like the most disrespectful thing I've seen. But for now, I am going to end this video. So far, I don't even know who I think it is. I don't know. Who can, who can use a katana? He can use a katana. But like, I feel like he doesn't like getting his hands dirty. He's like a... It reminds me of like a CEO or something. Like he'll buy your house to get back at you. 
Um, she's like hidden in the back. You can barely see her. To be honest, it could be her. It could be her. I don't know who else. I don't know. He has some crazy eyes in the back. Him too. Leon, I don't know. Thing is, I ha Leon, he hasn't been saying a lot either. I don't know. Like, this guy has said more than Leon. I feel like. Yasuhiro, or Yasuhiro, he seems like he's in, like, the safe zone. Right now, he's, like, in the chill spot. Nothing's up with him. Um, This guy, Hifumi, I don't think Hifumi could even get in the doorway. Um, Can't be Junko because she's dead. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure this out when the time comes. Drop a like on this video. Let me know if you liked it or not. And with all that out of the way, thank you all so much for watching. It's been me, Tusk, and I'm out. Peace.